Hi, in this video, we are going to look at how to create tables in HTML and populate uh, table rows and columns with data. Uh, so tables can be used to organize and display a range of information on a web page. So that might be used for displaying things like um, scores for teams on a sports website, or uh, might be used to display results from a database query, maybe a products on a, a shopping website. So uh, we can use HTML code to create tables, and then we can also use CSS code to give our tables a, a theme, like change the, the border colors or backgrounds um, and uh, the style of, of the table to fit in with the rest of the web page theme. So we're going to use a few tags in this tutorial. We're going to use the table tag to create the actual table, and then we use different tags for uh, table headings, uh, table rows and for adding actual uh, table data. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, what we've got here is the HTML code for the web page. We've got our body section, which is currently empty. And then over here on the right, we've got a CSS file, theme.css, which will add a little bit of code to, um, to give this table a bit of a theme. So what I'm going to do is um, create a table by adding the table tag. All right, just like that. So we're going to opening and closing table tag. This is going to contain all of our table uh, data. Um, we can also give this table a border. So over in the uh, CSS file, I'm going to use the table selector and say table. And then I'm going to say border one pixel solid black. Okay, so whoops border colon and then one pixel solid black. So we're going to have a one pixel thick uh, black border going around the, the edge of the table. All right, we can go and uh, just refresh the page and we don't really see anything at the moment. We just see a little dot there um, because there's no data in this table yet. Okay, uh, my table, it's going to display the top selling games from last month, March, 2020. So I'm going to add a caption. Now you don't need to add a caption to a table. You might choose to just add a heading using like a H1 or H2 or H3 tag, or you might just use a paragraph tag to add a heading above the table. You don't need to have it in the table, but I'm just going to show for an example here. We'll add a caption and it's going to be top selling games March 2020. So I'll have a list of the top five selling games of last month. Okay, uh, then what we need to do is create uh, a table row. Okay, so we can say we can use the TR tag for table row. And uh, we're going to add in some headings here for our um, first row of the table. So we'll have uh, rank. Um, so games will be ranked from one to five, we'll have the title of each game, and then we'll have the publisher of each game as well. So in the first row, so remember TR stands for table row, we're going to add uh, three different headings using the TH tag. First one will be rank. Uh, then we'll have uh, the game title. And then we might have the publisher name as well. So I've got our table. In the table at the top, we have a caption. And in the very first row of the table, we're going to have three uh, heading columns, one called rank, one title, and one publisher, okay? We go back after saving the code. This is what we have so far. Um, that's our caption. And these are our three, uh, three columns here, okay? Now we can add uh, borders as well uh, for each, each cell as well. So we don't currently have that. And we can make this table bigger, but we'll come back to that later. All right, so at the end of this row, let's create a new row. All right, so remember TR is for a table row. And now we're gonna add, start adding some data to the table. So that is the TD tag, table data. So the first game is Animal Crossing. Oh, actually first, first column is gonna be the rank. So it's gonna be one, it's the first rank game. And then our next table data, or second column, is going to be the title, which is Animal Crossing New Horizons on Nintendo. So that's going to be the publisher, Nintendo. 
And that's it for the, the first uh, row of data. So we have table row tag, and then within that we have three columns using the table data tag. First one is the rank, second is the game title, and then the uh, publisher. So we'll save and we'll refresh the page. And uh, there we go. So a caption, we've got our headings, and our first row of data. All right, back to the code. Let's add a new row. And in this row, we'll add some more data. And we just keep continuing to do this. So this is going to be the second rank game. Uh, this one is going to be Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare. Uh, Activision Blizzard. All right, another row. And number five, fifth rank game is NBA 2K2020, 2020. All right. Let's take two interactive. All right, so there we have it. We've got in our table, we've got caption, we've got our first row, which contains the table headings using the TH tag for each column. And then we have a second row here using the table data or TD tag for each um, piece of data for each of those three columns. And then a new row, another row. So we have five uh, rows of, of data there. All right, so it's basically just using TR tag for the rows and TD tag for the data in each column or each cell. And there we go. And there's a bit of a typo there. Okay. All right, now there's one more thing that we might want to do to this table and that is to add borders for, um, or lines for each uh, row and column to separate the the data. All right, so we can uh, come back here. Now I've got currently a border for the entire table. So that's just going around the edge of the table. But if we want to have a border between each um, piece of data, each column and row, we can add a border for the TD tag or TD selector table data. So we can say TD border and then whatever border you like, I'm going to go with a one pixel thick solid black border. Go back and refresh. Now, this is what it looks like, which doesn't look so great. There's a border going around each um, cell here, each table data element, all right? Um, but you can see that the border is doubling up between each cell. So what we can do to fix that is we can go back to the table uh, element, selector in the CSS code, and we can add border collapse, collapse. So what this will do is kind of merge those lines together. So there's just one line um, there for for each um, each of those. So uh, we can also uh, you know we can uh, do text align center as well. We want to center the text like that. So there's a few things that we can do in CSS code to to make that. Uh, look a little bit nicer. And we could add borders for the table header as well. So there's a line um, between each of those columns. And we can specify if we want the, the width and height for um, our table data as well. So, or we could add some padding too. So we could specify width or height. We could add a little bit of padding in each one. That just spaces it out a little bit, maybe a little bit more. All right, so a few things that you can do in your CSS code, but that's basically how to add tables uh, in HTML and then customize them in CSS. Thanks for watching.